So what is the molecular geometry for ozone, O3? To figure this out, we need to draw the Lewis structure. Oxygen has three valence electrons, so this compound or this molecule, not a compound, I should say a molecule, O3 has a total of 18 valence electrons. Next, we need to subtract that by the highest multiple of 8, just under 18. So 8, 16. And this number is going to equal 2, which tells us that we have two electrons or one lone pair on the central oxygen atom. Now, oxygen cannot have more than eight electrons. Because it's in the second row of the periodic table, it cannot have an expanded octet. So the oxygen at the center already has two electrons, so four, six, eight. Whenever oxygen has a double bond, like the one on the left, we need to add two lone pairs, so that oxygen atom has eight. The oxygen on the right, which have a single bond, we need to add three lone pairs to it so that it has eight as well. So every oxygen atom has eight electrons around it, so they all satisfy their octet requirement. And we have a total of 18 electrons, if you count everything. So this is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. So that's the Lewis structure of the ozone molecule. And notice that it has a bent molecular geometry. This oxygen has one lone pair, and it's attached to two other oxygen atoms. And its bond angle is very close to 120.